today I'm gonna look at uh, some stuff I found in the freezer section. Birch Bender's uh, Keto Waffles. Frozen Waffles. Um, so let's look and see what they have. So first we'll look at the regular. Regular waffles. Um, serving size is two waffles. So two waffles is 160 calories, 12 grams of fat, five protein, nine total carbs. Three of that is fiber, leaving it six net carbs. Let me see if that's right. Yep. Six net carbs for two waffles. Um, ingredients, eggs, high -elect sunflower oil, organic coconut flour, cassava starch, tiger nut flour, buttermilk, leavening, monocalcium phosphate, sodium bicarbonate, skim milk yogurt powder, uh, which is skim milk and cultures, psyllium husk powder, and spice. I don't know a whole lot about cassava starch or tiger nut flour, honestly, but um, may need to look those up. There you go, three net carbs per waffle, basically. And then, if you want chocolate chips in them, um, two waffles is 180 calories, 14 fat, five protein, 11 total carbs, three fiber, two sugar alcohol, leaving it at six net carbs also, which matches the front. So three net carbs per waffle. Um, ingredients, eggs, how like sunflower oreo, dark chocolate chips, which has unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia extract, sunflower lecithin. Um, then organic coconut flour, cassava starch, tiger nut flour, buttermilk, leavening, skim milk, yogurt powder, sodium husk powder, and spice. So pretty much the same ingredients, just has chocolate chips in these. Um, so I'm gonna go pop a couple of these in the toaster and try them out. Here they are cooked. All right, so I got, uh, I got them cooked, as I just showed you. Um, I have some Chalk Zero pecan maple syrup on one. I have the Chalk Zero maple vanilla on the other, and I have butter on both. So I'm gonna give you a try. I got one of each. They got a little overdone, it seems, in the toaster. I haven't used a toaster in quite a while. I had to get it out. It's been put up for a long time. This one is the chocolate chip one. You can see the little pieces of chocolate chip. I don't think it really has the texture I'm used to with the waffle, but it's better than all the other versions of waffles I've had. Definitely better than like all the chaffles I've tried to make. but it might need more chocolate. Or maybe I need to put chocolate syrup on it. Or peanut butter sauce, or both. Make it like a dessert waffle. Tonight it's more like a, um, tonight it's more like a uh, dinner. Since I'm eating two full ones. Now let's try the regular one. I'm telling you. The chalk zero syrup is really good. That'll make one of the things taste good. Um, I'm gonna try this tomorrow without the syrup. Um, I'll use a couple bites of like the chocolate chip one, see how it is. But this is the closest thing I've had to a waffle. This is really good. A little high in carbs, but having a couple of these on the weekend not gonna be bad. I just ate two. That was really good. All right, this one did not burn. There's no butter or syrup. We're just gonna taste it plain. It is the chocolate chip one, as you can see. And a waffle. You wanna try it? Um, you wanna uh, try a piece? Uh, what is that? That's chocolate. That's awesome. Hmm. Is it hot? It's hot. 
It's kind of plain tasting. No taste that. But it has a lot of texture. It's chocolate. That's chocolate? It's just chocolate, yeah. Yum. You like it? Yeah, yeah. Is that a good waffle? I like these waffles. There's not a whole lot of taste to the actual waffle itself, really. It's just chocolate. Which isn't a bad thing because you can add your own syrup and butter to it and make it delicious. Yeah. Sorry, I eat waffles. <laughs> Sorry, I like these. Yeah. 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 Yeah.